cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Metagel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. You are not in harmony with those who hoped to control us. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children.
What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? I won't be a puppet for the Asari. I give the orders around here, understood? Forgive me, Commander. I was only trying to help. Look, this is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. <sighs> that is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity. But those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. 
In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. It sounds amazing. Are you saying... No! Oh, no! Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's... let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander.
Looking for supplies? Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. What'd you do about the geneticist? 
I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Yeah? Go on. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Saleon's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess. But only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties, and the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. They just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't listen. No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I suppose I can see both sides. Well, what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time worrying about it now. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. I gotta go. Commander. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again, uh, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Sterin's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. That must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything an Aquarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. Who would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the Exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Veil. Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. 
But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. I should go. See you later. Thank you. 